What's going on Raider Nation? It's your boy Sanji back at it with another video. If you guys have not heard the news yet, Tyrell Williams is out for the year with a torn labrum in his shoulder and the Raiders have placed him on the IR which essentially ends his season. When I first heard that he's going on IR and his season was over, I didn't know what to think about it because last year he had 33 first downs, over 600 yards, and 6 touchdowns and considering the fact he was hurt most of the season, he still had a pretty big impact and with the amount of money that the Raiders paid him last year and this year, it's really unfortunate that he's hurt. However, that injury is going to allow a player like Brian Edwards to really step up and have a full-time role in this offense so in today's video what i want to do is i want to share with you guys my thoughts and opinions share with you guys some all 22 film from college and just get into brian edwards and what he brings for this las vegas raiders team starting with this play here edwards does a fantastic job on this one-handed touchdown as you guys see zoomed in edwards does a good job getting off the line of scrimmage the cornerback does a good job not falling for anything and at this point, it's just a one-on-one -on -one jump ball. And Derek Carr is one of those quarterbacks that loves wide receivers that can jump up and make catches. Devontae Adams, James Jones, Michael Crabtree, these are guys that Carr has had a lot of success with. Throwing the ball up to a wide receiver is something Carr loves to do. And Brian Edwards is going to fit that mold perfectly. In fact, DC has already made the comparisons of Edwards to Devontae Adams when Carr played with Adams at Fresno State. Another thing I really love about Brian Edwards' game is his toughness, his physicality, and how he's not scared to go into the middle of the field and make a catch. If he gets hit, he'll still make sure to make the catch. Henry Ruggs, Hunter Renfro are not guys that are going to go into the middle of the field, right? Tyra Williams was that guy that would run to the middle of the field and take a hit. In fact, if you guys remember last year, Renfro took a hard hit by trying to make a catch, I think on fourth down, and he ended up taking a huge hit, and I think he was out for the rest of that game as well as the week after that. On the other hand, South Carolina had Brian Edwards run through the middle of the field a number of times. In fact, I remember a sequence of plays against Georgia where he ran to the middle of the field three straight times and Georgia absolutely could not stop it. He was pretty much playing like a basketball player, posting up the corner and the quarterback just threw it to him and he would just jump up and catch the ball. His arms are too long, he's too tall and he's just too big of a player for any corner, especially a smaller corner to cover him. I think the mismatch is there and there's always that misconception that Brian Edwards can't run Chris Browns, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Take this play from the Tennessee game. He does a great job beating the corner to the inside, getting the corner to turn his back. And once he knows the corner has his back to the boundaries, he makes his break to the outside. This is a fantastic route and you can't teach it any better than that. And if you don't like that play, then take this play against Georgia where he absolutely destroys this corner he gives him an out route and he just goes right back up and these are the types of things that make a good route runner you have to sell those fakes you have to sell the break to the inside you have to sell the dig route the post route you have to sell all of these different types of routes to get the corner to start second guessing himself and once you're able to do all that it gets so much easier as the game progresses because now a corner doesn't know where this guy's gonna go is he gonna go left is he gonna go right and the, the fact that brian edwards can run every route in the route tree and at the same time just go up and jump over you and make a catch the guy's gonna be a hard player to stop and i'm super confident he would have been a first round pick had he been able to attend the NFL draft combine and had he not had his foot injury. You know, Mike Mayock has already said that before his injury, they had a first round grade on Brian Edwards. And Mike Mayock's not the only GM that said that. A number of different coaches, GMs, and scouts had first round grades on Brian Edwards before his injury. One of the ways Edwards is going to have an impact for the Raiders is through the quick passing game, through screens, through three or four yard catches in the middle of the field, short distance. That's where Brian Edwards is going to make his money. And he did that a lot at South Carolina. I mean, the number of times that I counted him catching a screen pass, either it went for 10 yards, five yards, or they needed two yards to get a first down. Edwards was the go-to guy for South Carolina. And the yards after the catch were unbelievable in my opinion. For me, Brian Edwards is going to bring a huge body for Derek Carr to get the ball to. Here's a play against Texas A&M where South Carolina is going to essentially just throw the ball to Brian Edwards. They need three yards. And what the quarterback does is he's going to throw the ball far to the outside where only Edwards can get it. 
And if Edwards can't get it, no one else can. And this is something DC did not have. He didn't have a guy other than Waller that can stretch out and make those catches. Well, now teams are going to have to guard both Edwards and Waller. And then more than that, on third and two from the 50 yard line, if you're covering Edwards with two guys and Waller with two guys, well then what about Henry Ruggs? He can take you deep. Maybe it's Rico Gafford who can also run deep. There's so many more weapons for a dirt card this year. And Edwards is going to be one of those huge weapons. One of those guys that's going to really have an impact for this team. If I had to make a prediction today, I think Edwards is going to end up with 60 to 70 catches. Uh, anywhere from 600 to 800 yards. And I think he's going to get at least four or five touchdowns. Now, I do think that the touchdowns could be a lot lower. Uh, primarily because we still have Josh Jacobs. You know, Ruggs is going to get his touchdowns. Renfro, Waller. Um, and then don't forget, Foster Moreau had like, I think, five or seven touchdowns last year as well. Uh, Jason Witten will get a couple touchdowns. We have so many weapons on offense, but I think Brian Edwards is going to be one of the biggest weapons. Tyrell Williams was not consistent, but when he was in the game, I felt like our offense just flowed better, right? Third and two, we were able to easily pick up that first down because we had Williams, who was 6'3", six, 6'4", six, but when he was hurt, we didn't have that extra weapon. All we had was Waller, and you can double Waller, and a lot of the time, shut that down. Brian Edwards is going to be a great addition to the Raiders offense another thing that I saw happen a lot and I'm not gonna get too much into this is Brian Edwards would just beat his coverage and the quarterback just didn't find him he would get open he'd be able to beat his guy and the quarterback would either get sacked because of the poor offensive line or the quarterback would just check it down to the running back because he didn't want to necessarily take that extra hit Overall, I mean, I, I personally could not be more excited for where this Raiders team is currently at the moment. If you just look at our offense, and Tyra Williams is a blow because, again, Edwards is a rookie. But being a rookie or not, Edwards is going to get that opportunity. But if you just take a step back and you look at this offense, you look at the weapons that this offense has. You have Henry Ruggs and possibly Rico Gafford if he makes a team. Two guys who have 4-2 speed that can go deep. And then you have Darren Waller, who no one in the NFL, there's zero players that can cover him one-on-one. -on -one. He is that good. Then you look at Hunter Renfro, who is very shifty. He can catch the ball for three, four, five, six yards. He can even take passes uh, to the house like he did last year a couple of times. And then you have Josh Jacobs, who can hit you for touchdowns. You have some backup players like Jason Witten, Moreau, uh, Lynn Bowden. You have so many weapons on this team. This offense is really on the back of Derek Carr. As far as Derek Carr can take this offense, that is as far as we will get. If DC has his best career season this year, the Raiders will win the Super Bowl. That is how talented we are on offense. And then even on defense, we're a very solid team. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think the Raiders will end up with as far as record. If you're not a subscriber, I hope you guys think of subscribing. I will have a ton more videos, including film like this on some of the rookies. I hope you guys all have a great day and I'll see you guys next time with another video.